This video is brought to you by Miniature Market. Thousands of board games, discounted prices, miniaturemarket.com. Hello my friends of the Game Boy Geek here. Today we're going to the future. And in that futuristic world, we're going to be building our own colony. And we're going to be doing this by building buildings and upgrading those buildings uh, and, and utilizing different resources and such in a dice drafting game that has some engine building elements to it. So we're going to take a look at this game colony. It's not out yet. It comes out uh, in at Essen in October. But I had lately had a chance last week to go to Bezier Games headquarters in San Jose and I had a chance to play the game with the designer Ted Alsbach. So this is just going to give you a brief one minute overview of what the game's about and then I'll come back and give you what my initial impressions were of my only single play of the game. Let's take a look. colony, two to four players are going to be drafting dice. Once they have these white dice, which are resources, they'll be placing them in their warehouse, storing them up, and getting ready to use them on their turn. They're going to use those resources as dice to buy new buildings, to activate certain cards, and essentially to be scoring points while building your engine. You'll also be using them to upgrade cards to turn your current resources and, and buildings into better ones to increase your engine. You can have a variable setup so each game feels a little bit different and you can craft it so that the style of gameplay matches the one that best suits you. Dice drafting, engine building, it feels like a deck builder even though it's just a really tableau in front of you. How fast can you get to the points needed depending on how many players there are and that's Colony. Well, there you had Colony. Now, last week, as I mentioned, I got to sit down with Ted and play this game, but I also did an interview with him. We talked a little bit about his background in gaming uh, and design, and we talked about some of his popular series and whether those are going to continue with new games. We talked about some of the games coming out, including Colony here, and some that might be possibly a little bit in the future. So if you haven't seen that yet, click the link below or click this above me, and you'll get to go see that live interview that I had with him at his house. Now, Colony itself, um, you might want to know a little bit more about the game. That one minute overview might not give you everything but in general so the game itself it i guess it mostly felt uh like sort of a dominion without building your deck so essentially like a deck builder but yet you don't have to worry about when that card's going to come up or hoping to get that card that you bought earlier that went to your discard pile is it going to come up this draw where as you're buying these cards they're not going to a deck they're going into your tableau in front of you and you're drafting these dice to then try to activate these cards when you want to activate them. So you have a little bit more choices here. And of course, it's more very much like engine building where, hey, I'm going to grab this, this card or the GMO plant over here, and then this one, and then this one. And those, those uh, different buildings are going to give you sort of some unstable resources every turn that you can use or lose. And sometimes you're turning those in to like an automatic upgrade every turn. And there's different ways of comboing different cards to help you get other cards to then help you get the cards to help you score. And it's this engine building sort of, it does feel like a deck builder, even though it's not a deck builder. Uh, I really like the dice drafting mechanism in this game. Dice drafting is something I really love in games like El Gacho uh, and, and uh, Grand Austria Hotel recently. I, I do really love dice drafting, so I like, I like that aspect of it where you're drafting those dice. Uh, I like how if you're not building something, you're getting some of these chips, which then you can turn in for some of those unstable resources. Um, another thing that I think this game really has going for it is I played this once, right? So I'm just speaking on what I saw uh, in my, my first impressions of this game. I would definitely want to play this a lot more before I reviewed it. But I played the very basic beginner starter game where some of my upgrades are already flipped over. We played with the very basic set of cards. But after that, uh, oh, but and, and after that, we got to basically look at all the other cards that you could mix in. Now, there's going to be an app for this game that's going to allow you to have sort of intelligently randomized sets of cards to play with the game. Now, some of the ones up top, so like the GMO plants and stuff, those will be in every game, but that middle row, those will change from game to game. And I think that's a really cool aspect because you can cater to your play style. Uh, you saw some of those cards are, are mean, like the pirate and such, and you can steal stuff. Of course, for all those, there's defense cards, like the chain link fence and such like that. Um, and so, if you don't like that attacking style or aggressive style play, well, you don't play with it. You can play with something else. And you know that app is gonna intelligently say, hey, look, if you're gonna bring this card in, well, that one should probably be paired with this one. We'll put these two in the game together. And I like how you can sort of cater these different setups uh, to different playing styles and different and, and, and sort of 
uh, experience different types of playing with that. I really like that. I mean, when we were playing, Ted went right after the guy who attacks, which is interesting because I'm usually an aggressive player, especially in Euros. Uh, and so I wanted to go up to the pirate, and you know, he got him. And so I got a bunch of uh, uh, you know chain link fences up to kind of stop him. I ended up beating Ted by one point somehow. Uh, I think I got a lucky roll, but but whatever. Yes, there is dice involved. You are rolling dice, but there's a decent amount of ways that you can manipulate the dice. You know, some of those cards are allowing to take two of any dice or two of the same dice and turn it into something else. You know, but if that card's upgraded, it's two of any dice can do that. So you're trying to figure out which cards to upgrade, which ones to get, which ones will combo with the other ones. So overall, I think it's pretty interesting. The artwork is really cool. I think the people that are really going to like this are going to be those people that like the Dominion. Like, if you took, like, the Dominion aspect of sort of building your deck, but even though it's not a deck, it's a tableau, sort of that, 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 uh, that, that Splendor type of engine building, along with sort of dice drafting is sort of the mechanism that I would say this kind of fits within. Uh, I think it's going to do really well. I think a lot of people are really going to like it. Now, personally, I don't even like Dominion. I know, kill me. And I really actually don't even like deck builders. Uh, the only one I even really like, and I love it, by the way, is Baseball Highlights 2045. But this isn't one that, uh, that, that, that I normally would like because of that deck building element. But because it's in front of you and because I'm not fill filling with my deck and because I'm able to dice draft and do what I want to do, I liked it quite a bit more than, say, a typical deck build that I would like. So... That's pretty much it, my initial thoughts and who I think would like this game, uh, who I think might not. I don't know who, who wouldn't. Uh, people, maybe if people just don't like the actual rolling of the dice, even though you can, uh, you can manipulate them. If you don't like dice drafting games at all, even though you can manipulate those dice, then you're probably not going to like this one. But other than that, I think you should give it a shot, and I think it's going to do really well, and that's Colony. This video was sponsored by Miniature Markets Review Corner. The Review Corner features podcasts, video, and written game reviews by gamers for gamers. Miniature Market, the online gaming superstore. Thousands of board games, discounted prices. Check them out at miniaturemarket.com. I'd like to thank each and every one of you for backing me on Kickstarter and making this season become a reality. I'd like to especially thank those here that have backed me at the credit level. Now, these video reviews are also available by audio on our podcast. It's the intros and the final thoughts on GameboyGeek.com. Click podcast.